Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload files to your web server, also known as your web host or your web hosting account, right? I'm going to show you two methods using their built in tool for uploading files to the, your web host or using an FTP program, all right? So I've got a test site. First of all, I'm going to put in my domain name. So this test site's called test.sheridan college.com. So I'm going to go check it out. If you go in there, you can see I have an empty, empty website, right? No home page, right? Just says index of, and it shows the CJI bin, and I've got nothing in there. So we're going to fix that, right? So I'm going to leave that open in this tab, right? And I'm going to go to the login page. Now this web host is got what's called cPanel, which is a control panel. It's a um, Linux web host. So I'm going to go check it out. So I'll copy this and I'll go to a new tab and I'll paste it but this time I'm going to type cPanel at the end and hit enter and you can see I get to my login screen so now that I'm at my login screen I can put in my username and my password so I'm going to put that in right and then my password and hit login and now I'm in cPanel. Now when you get in here for the first time, if you've never seen anything, it's like, oh my gosh, what is all this stuff, right? Well, there is a lot of things you can do here. Um, first of all, it tells you exactly about your web hosting account here on the left-hand side. You can see I have 200 megabytes of storage space, right? You can see that um, I'm in my home folder, so to speak. And some of you might get an entry screen that's that um, a pop-up screen that you can close the first time you log in you'll get a pop-up screen um, anyway this is what you want to know how to do first of all you don't need to work with this but you can if you want you could create email accounts here right you can upload files and download files to your website by going to your file manager right here right and there's also a legacy file manager so let's open up the file manager and try to upload a file to our site so I'm going to click on the file manager. It asks me where I want to go. I'm just going to say web root public underscore HTML dub dub dub. Click go. And it opens up a new window. And this is going to be the file manager. And you can see when you're in there, there's that CGI bin, right? And nothing is in here, right? I'm in the public HTML folder right here. Okay, public HTML. And you can see there's nothing in here, right? So what I can do is, is I could upload a file into here. I could also download files if I highlight it and press download. Um, and um, so let's see if we can do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up quickly a notepad file, notepad, right? And I'm going to write a quick down and dirty homepage file. So I'm going to type HTML, right? Then end HTML right okay there's the opening tag the end tag I'll put the head right and then the end head and this does not have correct formatting or anything like that it's just kinda quick and dirty hello right so there is that, and then I'll put a body tag, okay, and then the end uh, body tag right here, okay, and then I'll say hello, or put site under construction, all right? Now, that looks good, right? So that's the format. I'm going to save it, file, save as, and I'll save it to my desktop. I'm going to name it index.html. Okay? It's going to be a text document. I'm going to put quotation marks around this so it forces the, the um, file name to be index.html. And I'll hit save. All right? And there it is. So now it's on the desktop. Let's upload it to our site. So I'll click upload. I'll browse for the file. 
desktop. Let's look for it. There it is, index.html. Double click on it. 644 is the proper permissions for files in your in your website. All right. And looks like it's complete. Let's go back to the home folder. And there it is. You can see there it is. Now, if we go back to our home page, test.sheridan-college.com, and hit refresh, you'll see there's my home page now. Your home page is called index.html in a Linux Apache web server. So that's quick, down and dirty, how to use the file manager. All right. Um, also, there's th other things you can do here. You can create databases right, using the MySQL databases tool, the MySQL databases wizard, or PHP my admin, right? Um, you can do all kinds of things in here, but the main thing is how do you get files up and, to, up and down from your web server, and just using the file manager will work for that. Okay, let's try another way of uploading files to your web server. You could download an FTP program. I have an FTP program right here and install it on your computer. This is FileZilla and I've opened FileZilla and you can see that what it needs is a host or the domain name, username and a password. So you put your host in here. I'm going to put test.sheridan-college.com. I'll put my username here. Right? My password here. So now I have the domain name here or the host, right? This is the web server basically my username and my password here. I don't even have to put the port, I can just hit quick connect and you can see this is the um, this tells you exactly, this window tells you exactly the kind of communications that are going on, right? Um, just gonna double check that really quickly. Okay, the kind of communications that are going on and all of my files are listed here, right? You can see here that I can look through here and this is my web host. Now, I'm going to want to upload files to the public HTML folder. So I double click on that and you can see there's my index.html file. This is on the right side. This is the files on the web server. On the left side is my local hard drive, my C drive, right, my documents, right? I can even go to my desktop, right? Or desktops up here at the top. There's my desktop, right? And if you want, here's all my files on my desktop. And if I wanted to, I could just click and drag and drop to download things to my hard drive. Or I could upload by clicking on something and then dragging and dropping it over here, right? If you don't want to drag and drop, you can use the upload or download buttons. Let's see which ones are they. Well, I just typically drag and drop things from one side to the next. So. Anyway, this is how you would do it in FileZilla. When you're done, you can just hit this red X to disconnect, right? And I'm disconnected. Another word of warning, when you're logging into web servers like this, if you are putting in the wrong password and you're not able to get in, if you keep trying to log in with the incorrect password, you will get blocked by the server and possibly have your IP address banned from the web server and uh, then you won't be able to connect. And it might take a call to the web host, a phone call to the web host, to have them unblock or an email to your web host asking them to unblock your IP address.